All right. Good morning, everybody. This is Coach Larry here live on a Thursday morning, a special Thursday morning edition of the Sunday Night One-to-One -one Live. Today we are talking about something that we got started talking about over the weekend, but we're going to we're going to recast the vision today because you're going to actually be able to see the words here in the correct and the proper perspective, which is you don't have to read backwards today. You can actually read forwards. And we're going to be talking about goals. So what I've done here is um, I've actually turned the camera around so I won't be able to see who is joining us until the end. And I'll take some questions at the end. Um, but when I turn the camera around on the selfie uh, direction, everything gets reversed. So I can't really see who's joining us right now, but I'm just going to I'm just going to um, go for it. All right. So we're talking about goals today. Now it's 2017. We're a couple days or a few days here into 2017. And this is the time of year when a lot of people are thinking about goals. And that's an important thing. But what I want to what I want to really cast the vision for is that goals are not goal. It's not a topic just to talk about at the beginning of the year. It's a day by day process. It's a day by day thought process. You want to live your goals out on a daily basis. And I'm going to I'm going to give you some cool quotes from Bob Bowman a little bit later, Michael Phelps' coach, who talked about how he worked with Michael on his goals when he was growing up and, and how they made it really part of his ongoing daily life rather than something just to get excited about at the beginning of the year and then kind of lose focus. You know, you hear about a lot of people joining the gym in January and they say, don't go to the gym in January because it's so crowded. Everybody's New Year's resolution is, I'm going to get in shape. They go to the gym and then by mid-February, back to business as usual. We don't want to have business as usual. Okay, when you're, If you're a swimmer or any kind of athlete or in business or any kind of any endeavor in your life where you are pursuing goals, you don't want it to be just, hey, let's get excited at the beginning of the year and then get back to business as usual. You want to have this as a lifestyle, setting and achieving goals. And that's what we're going to talk about today. How to set and achieve exciting goals. Okay. I think the most important thing to remember when it comes to goals is to keep it simple. All right. So I just want to start out with just, let's just, let's just keep it really, really simple. Okay. One, two, three. Okay. Most of the time we end up setting too many goals and it becomes almost like going up to a buffet table and you see all this incredible food and you don't even know where to start. So at the beginning of the year, often we get all excited and we think, oh man, I'm going to do all of these things this year. And then you don't know where to start. So I want to, I want to encourage you, just keep it simple. Okay. I would just say set three goals. Just, just sit down and set three goals. And we're going to, and I would suggest that you do a short-term goal, a mid-range goal, and a long-term goal. That's only three. You can put your mind around that. You can put your hands around that. It's not overwhelming. It's very simple. Okay, so let's keep it very simple. Also, we want to be specific. Sometimes goals are too vague. For example, when I talk to swimmers and they say, I want to swim faster this year. And I say, that's, that's great. Uh, in in what, what stroke? Uh, butterfly. Okay, which event? I don't know, you know. You, you want to be specific. You want to pick a goal that is, it's not vague, you, it's, it's crystal clear. You know, you hear the saying that you can't hit a target that you can't see. So you want to set a target that you can see. So we want to not only be simple so that it's not overwhelming, but we want to be specific so we can see it. The third thing that we often uh, get in a little bit of trouble with is that we don't really have a schedule. You know, you see the clock up on the wall here. We, we want to we make some kind of a schedule for our goals. We want to have, have them be time-bound. We don't just want to say, yeah, I'd like, to, um, I'd like to make Olympic trials one day. When? You know, by when? And, and which Olympic trials are you talking about? So you need to be specific in terms of the time that you want to have your goals achieved by. Okay, so that's why I want to I want to just give you three examples and encourage you to do just do three things today with your goals for 2017. All right, so we're going to keep it simple, we're going to be specific, and we're going to have a schedule. So let's just say you have three goals for the year. 
One short term, one midterm, and one long term. Okay? So let's say your short term is to make a senior sectional cut. Okay, you want to make senior sectionals. Okay. Maybe a midterm goal. So this would be like maybe in the next uh, three months. That would be good. That's a good short-term goal. Three months, you know, somewhere three to four months, that's a great short-term goal. How about maybe something that is in the next, oh, um, uh, let's say six to 12 months, okay? Maybe the six to 12 month range, okay? Well, let's try to, um, let's make a junior national cut, okay? So that's more of a mid-range goal, maybe six to 12 months from now. And then how about a long-term goal? Let's say um, I want to make Olympic trials. And I want to do that, you know, two to three years from now. Two to three years, that would be your long-term goal. So we have a short-term goal. I want to get a senior sectional cut. A mid-range goal, I want to get a junior national cut. And then long-term goal, I want to make the Olympic trials one day. And, you know, you can fill these in for yourself, but I would, I would encourage you to go... Short-term, mid-term, long-term, all right? Keep it simple, keep it simple. So when we think about um, these being our goals, keeping it simple, yes, it's one, two, three. Very specific, I didn't just say, let's, you know, I, I kinda wanna make it. Um, I wanna make a senior sectional cut, let's say in the 400 IM, all right? So I wanna be a little more specific. I think I'd like to make it in the 400 IM or the 200 butterfly or the 200 breaststroke. You know, name the event or the number of events that you want to do. Be specific. And then have your schedule. Three months from now, that's, that's when senior sectionals is. That's when you want to set that finish line. Okay? All right. So we're keeping it simple, specific, and scheduled. Now, while we're keeping it simple and specific and scheduled, Let's talk about how do we set the specific goals. Okay, what do you, what do you have to do to actually come up? Because some people say, I don't know what, I mean, I want to do great things, but I don't really know what I want to do. Well, let's talk about how to, how to set those goals, and then let's talk about how to achieve those goals, because those are two very different things. Setting goals and achieving goals are two very different things. So let's talk about setting the goals first, okay? First thing you need to do, you need to get by yourself, and do some good old-fashioned thinking, all right? What do I really want? And don't make, it, don't make it difficult, just think. What do I want to do in the next three months? I want to make senior sectionals in the 400 IM. Boom, write it down, okay? So you want to think, you want to write it, okay? And I would encourage you to get just a simple spiral notebook. Write down your goals. Uh, there have been a lot of studies that have shown the power of actually writing down your goals is huge versus just kind of, yeah, I'd like to do that, because then it's just kind of theory. When you write it down, it becomes more real. So think about what you want. Don't complicate it. Just think, what do I want in the next three months? What do I want in the next six to 12 months? What do I want three years from now? Write it down, okay? So think about it, write it down, and then the third thing is you want to share it. Okay, you want to share it. So think, what do I really want? Write it down specifically and then share it. And I would encourage you to share it with your coach or any kind of mentor in your life who um, you want them to help you with ideas and you want to uh, have someone to hold you accountable. Okay, so setting goals, let's keep it simple. Put some thought into it, write it down, and then share it. Okay? Now, how do we achieve goals? Once you've set the goals, which are specific and, and uh, simple and scheduled, once you've set those goals, how do you go about achieving those goals? This is where we run into some roadblocks sometimes. Because it's great achieving them, excuse me, it's great to set them, but achieving them, it's a, it's a whole different matter. First thing we need to do is you need to come up with the action steps that will help move you toward your goal. So, if you want to, if you want to qualify in the 400 IM for senior sectionals, 
what specifically do I need to do better in order to go faster and make that goal? What do I need to be doing during practice? What kind of nutrition do I need to have? What kind of mindset do I need? What are those actions that I need to take to bring me closer to my goal? This is where it's really important to talk to your coach. Okay, and let me, uh, because you, you want to talk to someone who's kind of been there, right? If, if you were, let's just say, for example, you were going to have a goal of climbing Mount Everest. You would want to talk to someone who's been to Mount Everest before. You don't just want to say, that's a really cool mountain. I think I'll go for it. I, yeah, I think, I think I'll go for Mount Everest. It's not that big of a deal. No, you would want to talk to someone who's climbed it before or a guide who leads people up the mountain, or someone who really knows what they're doing. And that would be your coach. Your coach has either been to senior sectionals as a swimmer before, when he or she was younger, or they've coached other individuals to that meet. So meet with your coach, come up with action steps of what you need to do specifically each and every day. Better streamlining, uh, better catch, better attendance, better nutrition. What is it? Come up with those specific action steps and and then you want to do step two which is get started start now okay have a sense of urgency even if it's not the perfect plan do something okay there's there's something very powerful about just taking that first step because even if it's not a perfect step at least you're moving toward the mountain at least you're moving toward the goal you're not just sitting there thinking Oh man, I wonder if I can do this. I wonder if I can. No, go. Even if it's just hitting the hit the turf and give me 20 push-ups. Hey, you do 20 push-ups, that's going to make you a little bit stronger for your uh, for your 400 IM. So do 20 push-ups, and then you say, okay. Hey, at least I did something. I'm on my way. Okay. So come up with your action steps with your coach, and start now. Start now. Even if you don't think it's the perfect plan. By the way, there is no perfect plan. So. A perfect plan is actually a plan where you're taking action toward your goal. That's kind of the perfect part of it, is that you're actually doing something. Get off the dime and do something, all right? Um, and then the third thing, final thing, is you want to absorb, you want to absorb your goals or live your goals. Okay, like I talked about earlier, we don't just want to do this at the beginning of the year and say, hey, I've got these great goals. Yay, you know, my, uh, my spiral notebook is filled with goals now. Wow, great, I feel so much better. No, you, you don't want to just keep it as a theoretical matter. You don't just want to um, keep it as an exercise and then I get on with the rest of my life. You want to absorb your goals. You want to live your goals. Uh, that means you need to be reminded by yourself and by your coach and those who are keeping you accountable of your goals. Uh, you want to write your goals down. You want to um, review them on a daily basis. I would recommend, hang on a second. I would recommend that you get one of these um, really cool inventions, one of these uh, pads of sticky notes. Write your goals down on a sticky note, put it on your mirror, okay? Very powerful. In the morning, you see your goals. It becomes part of who you are. Okay? It, you start to absorb it. You start to live it. Talk about your goals with your teammates or with your coach. Um, talk to yourself about your goals. Now, that I don't know if that sounds kind of weird. I'm not talking any kind of hocus-pocus, name it and claim it kind of things. But the more you talk to yourself, especially as you, you know, there are a lot of negative distractions in the world. The more you kind of talk to yourself about how you're going to achieve your goal, it's going to become part of who you are. You're going to start to embrace it. You're going to start to believe it. Um, it's amazing what the mind will absorb when you really put it to the test. So put your goals in your mind. Think about this for a second. Um, I mentioned this last weekend, but I heard a song the other day that I hadn't heard in 40 years. Uh, it was a Billy Joel song called uh, Moving Out. It was on the album called The Stranger, and it came out in 1977, I think. So I haven't heard this song in 40 years, but you know what? When that song came on the radio, I knew every word to that song. I hadn't heard it in 40 years, but I knew every word. Um, I knew when it was going to be sung. I knew when the saxophone or the guitar solo was going to take place. How is that possible? 
Well, it's possible because I soaked my mind in that song when I was a little kid. I heard it on the radio every day going to swim practice when it was a hit. Um, I sang along with it. Um, I probably saw the lyrics written down somewhere. So I had multiple ways of just driving into my mind. And 40 years later, I'm able to record every word. See, what I want to encourage you to do is make your goals kind of like that Billy Joel song. Absorb your goals. Live them out. Review them. Talk about them. Have them on, post them on your bathroom mirror. Uh, talk to yourself about them. Um, you know, make up a song. You can make up a song about it. You don't have to sing it in front of other people, but I'm telling you, it will become part of who you are. And the more it becomes part of who you are, the much more likely you are, in fact, probably guaranteed, I would say, if your goal is part of who you are and you've sat down with your coach and you guys have come up with a plan, it's, it's, uh, it's going to happen. So make it happen. Absorb those goals. Um, I want you to think about this. This is a, um, this is a, we'll, we'll finish up with this. This is the American Swimming Magazine. Um, this is the fourth edition from 2016. And it's got a great article in here. Um, here's Michael Phelps and, and Bob Bowman. Uh, How Bob Bowman Built the Score to Planet Phelps. Great article. And one of the quotes from this article really applies to goal setting. And I want to I throw this out there for your consideration as you're putting your goals together. Here's what it says. This is just a, just a couple sentences. It says, goal setting became a daily habit. This is for uh, Bob Bowman, Coach Bob Bowman and Michael Phelps. Bowman explains, quote, On a daily basis, I remind Michael of what his long and short-term goals are and how he stands today in relation to that. That's where the whole thing comes in where many say, I'll deal with it tomorrow. I'm there to say, no, let's deal with it today. So, that's a really important message. Dealing with it on a regular basis. Bob Bowman would tell Michael, these are your short-term goals. Let's review them. Here are your long-term goals. They would talk about them. It was part of their daily practice. His daily practice wasn't just showing up and doing 10 100s freestyle on a minute. It was... Where are you right now in relation to your goals? Let's remind ourselves of these goals. And he said he got a lot of, uh, kind of some, some, some kickback from Michael on that because sometimes it's not a whole lot of fun to look at where you are compared to where you want to be because there's usually some distance there. Kind of like waking up in the morning. You look into the mirror, you may not really like what you see, but it's an important step in your day, right? You have to take a look in the mirror, see what needs to be fixed, fix yourself up for the day, boom. Now you're ready to go. And it's the same kind of thing when it's with your goals. Look at where you want to be. It may not be what you like right now compared to where you are. And set up a plan. All right? So let's just go with that for 2017. When it comes to your goals, keep it simple. Okay? Just do three. Not 20, not 30, not 50. Just do three goals. Make them very specific like... 400 IM, senior sectional, junior national cut, or Olympic trials, and have a schedule. I want this three months from now. I want to make this within the next six to 12 months. I want this one in the next two to three years, okay? So we want to keep it simple, specific, and scheduled. Then it's time to set the goal. Think about what you want to do. Don't just wing it. Don't say, oh, yeah, I think my mom or my dad would want me to achieve this. No, this is your goal. Okay, this is your goal. This is not, oh, maybe my coach wants me to, no. This is your goal. So think about what you want, not what your coach wants, not what your parents want, not what your best friend wants. What do you want for your goal? Write it down. Keep a spiral notebook with your goals, okay? And then share that with your coach. That's how you set the goal. How to achieve the goals? Come up with action steps with your coach. What do I need to do specifically? to help move me toward my goal. Start now, have a sense of urgency. Don't get paralysis by analysis, right? Some people look and they think and they look and they think and they just, they just freeze up. Just get going, do something. It'll get you going in the direction of your goal. And then finally, absorb your goals, live your goals. Think about what, what uh, Michael Phelps did growing up. Think about that Billy Joel song that I remember from 40 years ago, why? Because I absorbed it. Because I lived it. So write down your goals. Review them. Post it on your, on your mirror. Talk about it with people. 
Make up a song about it. Whatever it takes to become and start really believing that you will achieve those goals. Okay? All right, so now I'm going to turn the camera around just to see uh, if we have any questions. So hang on a second. Okay. Let's see. All right, good. So no questions right now. So we are good to go. If you have any questions, you can fire us off a question at our website, iswim1to1.com. Lots of good information there about how you can get better in your swimming. Lots of information, really good teachings that are free, and um, good luck on your goals, okay? Get out there and make it happen in 2017 and beyond. Thanks for joining. See you soon.